fasting. Fasting. Terrible audio. Terrible audio. Okay. So, testing. Testing. All right. So, testing. 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 What's up? Can you hear me? Okay, so I'm gonna airbrush. I'm not gonna airbrush. I'm gonna use a primer. I'm gonna prime the bricks right here, like you see. I'm gonna prime these three really nicely with this uh, Tamiya surface primer. Uh, Michael, come on, man. Okay. Check it out. So I have to wait for it to dry so I can spray the underside. I used a, uh, whatchamacallit, sticky tack to stick the brace on a cardboard. So That's all, folks. I need a little napkin here. So, I'll take this camera, put it up here. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience. So, while these bricks are uh, dry, 
while they dry. I'm going to try to fix the um, I try to fix the the wood piece that I made. I messed up because I used the the alcohol torch. You know what? Let me open the window so I can get some fresh air. Actually, it's open. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, sort of sand. This whole piece right here, sand it, and with my Dremel, and then I'm gonna put new clay on it, and then I'm gonna sculpt it, and then um, uh, cook it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do because I messed up uh, when I used the alcohol torch. It, it, the heat was so strong, it went through the other side and the other side got cooked. So I can't scope on the other side. And uh, it was tr a trial and error. Then I try to fix these cracks right here that I have. And then I'll, I'll cook it and, and prime it. And it should look like this. I think this one comes out, <laughs> looks a little better than that one actually. So. And then I'm going to paint them uh, really nicely with golden paints and acrylic and uh, oil paints for shading. And it should look really, really nice. So let's do this. Let's do this like Brutus. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get the Dremel. Alright, so I'm get the Dremel. Alright, I get the Dremel right here. This is the Dremel I have. It looks like something uh, the dentist will use. I gotta change the head right here, so. This is my little pouch. And I, I have all my Dremel stuff in this little pouch. All right, let's see. So you use little keys to open it. We might use this one right here for some cutting and uh, the sander. Yeah, I need a good sander. Something that will sand it really fast and quick. Maybe something like this. So maybe I'll use that one. There, here's one I might use. This one. Or. Yeah, this one, this one probably I'll use right here, this one right here. All right, so. I'll get the key here. This thing looks like. It's from a horror movie. It's a little stuck. I gotta put it in the key right here and twist it, but it's a little stuck. So bear with me. Hmm. Let me see if I could get a screwdriver for this. All right. Let's 
So I'm going to try this one. Right here. All right, it worked. I had to use the pliers too. All right. So you hold this right here, spin this out. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I'm supposed to let's see that. So I'm having a little trouble getting this out. Right here. Maybe I bang it a little. You guys hear Popeye? <laughs> I have Popeye in the room. Popeye course TV. I'm doing something wrong. Just... I just don't, I remember this thing, I don't remember this thing. I don't remember how to get this thing out. That's weird. Oh, I remember you put a something in here, like here, and then you spin this. Ah, there you go. All right, so. Let's see. I still got this thing in here. How the hell do I get this thing out? All the trouble. Man, that's weird. I never had this problem before. So I gotta get this out of here. I don't know how to do it. I don't remember. Let's see. Let's try.
Wow. Okay. So what I did is I screwed in this way, and it, it came out uh, like this. Crazy, man. Okay. Thank God that worked. All right, so now you put this in here, or this in here, and uh, make it work. This thing is like so cheap. I bought this on eBay, and this is one of the cheapest blades ever used man it's from china and not said when you say that this thing is horrible don't ever buy these type of blades from china don't ever do that always buy the american uh dremel parts but not from china okay take my advice All right, guys. So, put this in here, line it up like that. Now you can whatever you want. So, oh, this is the one I'm going to do. So, that. I always like to leave a little bit out. Yeah. Always like to look for good design and good engineering. All right, so this thing is going to spin it real fast. I'm going to try to make this heal it off without damaging this and then I'm going to put some clay on it and then I'm going to sculpt the other beats on it and I'm going to cook it and hopefully it'll work. Let's see. All right, so it's gonna blow the dust that way. That's good. It's gonna make a big mess over here. Should have thought about that before, but. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I made a big mess. I'm gonna get something to clean this and then continue. Mm -hmm. Sure, the camera's not dirty. Sorry. Okay, so I'm trying to clean this area. Okay. 
goes in the bag. No. Blades are all filthy too. I'm just going to sweep it off because it's just too much. Uh, sweep it off over here. Uh, Swear to God, man, like if you draw, it's so much simpler. <laughs> like things are so much less of a, a problem. Like when you sculpt, you gotta like do all this, like you gotta, you gotta have all these tools and stuff. And I thought about switching and just like drawing and painting. But then again, when you paint, you gotta deal with all these thinners and paint and all that. So now you can do a uh, digital, right? So that's what, one of the reasons I like digital because you don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Let's see. Get this stuff. I'm not too bad, all the way in there. Oh, so tomorrow uh, I ordered uh, from Amazon, I ordered lights. So I'm going to have really good lighting now. So you guys can see everything. And I ordered a, a really nice uh, microphone. So I'm really excited about the microphone and uh, the lights because it's gonna be really, really well lit. I'm not gonna have any shadows anymore. And you're gonna see everything really well. So that's gonna be awesome. And uh, that's good news. It's awesome news. All right, so I'm just gonna see what can I do. I can't. I can capture all this. I'll be right back. I can do this
Right. All right, guys. So that was a bit of a hassle. I need some mango. Mmm, delicious. So I try to uh, fix this thing, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. It's okay. I'll just make another. One. Mm. <coughs> that was delicious. So I'm really excited about the the uh, microphone because I bought this stand for it <clears throat> right here. So it goes right here, and uh, it's adjustable and everything. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty excited that you're gonna hear me very clearly and you're gonna see a very well lit area. So it's not gonna look so uh, bad like. Usually it does because, like, the lighting, you know, lighting is important. Also, <clears throat> I bought these tools yesterday. With these, um, you can texture clay really nicely. Like, let's say you're making a piece of armor with these little tiny points, they're like little spheres, they're round. You can um, texture really nicely the, the clay. I want to show you a little example, maybe. So, let's see, let me put on my reading glasses. So, you can see right here, let's say this is a piece of armor or something. Or even a rock or something, and you can just you can just um, go in there and um, go over the surface over and over and over, and it just it looks really nice once you're you're done. So you can make some really cool looking orc armor from Lord of the Rings, like the orcs have this like. Like uh, <laughs> random texture, like metal look to it. I guess because they're, you know, forks and they're not that sophisticated, their armor looks like spiky and, and stuff, but it still looks cool. So you can do this with this tool like that. And I think it's pretty cool. So, like let's say a chess piece of armor or something, you can go over the chess piece like with this and you can make it look really nice. Like a nice textured piece of armor. Okay, so this thing looks pretty bad right now, but I still have hope. I still have hope. All right, so. I'm going to put a little bit of clay on this while wow, it's breaking. And, uh, and then I'm going to try to try to, we just call it, put the detail. All right, so let's see clay two here. So any of you guys want to talk about toys, sculpting, welcome to it. 
I am going to put up some videos on ZBrush as well. So that will be coming soon. And I'll be sculpting rather simple stuff at the beginning, you know. And as I get more advanced, then I'll do some really nice stuff. My goal is to make action figures, really detailed action figures. So that's like my goal. Okay, so something like that. Now, when you want to use like something to stick a piece of glue, something that acts like glue for clay, you can use liquid sculpty. You can use liquid sculpty or you can use bacon bond. Either two work fine. Uh, I heard that bacon bond is better. So, but I find it that they're basically almost the same thing. So what I do is you just put a little bit of that stuff on the surface and spread it around, you know, just spread it around. You can use a, uh, toothpick or something really thin to spread it around. Mm -hmm. See a lot of toothpick. Yes, so I always can't keep always keep a toothpick around or one of these little things because you never know. And one of the most amazing things about sculpting is that the toothpick is an amazing tool for sculpting. So, some of the best sculptors just use a toothpick, believe it or not. You just spread it around. Let's spread this stuff rather sticky. And I'm gonna do a sheet of clay and I'm gonna just stick it on. Put a little more. So the way I went about the first time when I did the first piece of wood stick, uh, I, I went instinctively and I just did the first side first. And uh, and then I, I did the other side second. But how I did it is I put just a soft clay without no wire mesh on a piece, on a flat piece. And it seems to be, it seems to be that that's the better idea than what I'm doing right now. But I'm trying to save this piece because I don't want to lose it. So I recommend if you're going to try to do uh, a nice piece of wood for your action figures, I recommend that you first just take a piece of clay like this and put it on something flat, like a flat surface, like the any flat surface and just put the shape that you want on the flat surface and sculpt on it. And then when you're done, you cook it and then you, you know, you peel it out. It's going to be hard to peel it, but push it off. And then, then you put the other side of the clay and then you work on that side. And I think that's the best way because the way I did it the second time was with the wire mesh. And uh, look what happened. I, I, everything was going fine. I, I, I sculpted it nice. I textured it nice. And then when, it, when I applied the heat from the famous famous um, alcohol torch, everything went downhill. Everything was just went downhill. And here I am right now trying to save this, this piece of um, sculpted wood. So, yeah, just a little advice. So, like I was telling you guys, I like to draw too, 
and I love um, illustrators like uh, Ralph McLary. Uh, Ralph McLary, is that his name? He's the one who did all the illustrations, concepts, paintings, and illustrations for Star Wars. I love that guy. Uh, he did some, when I was a kid, I went into the bookstore and I bought the, um, the book, what was it called? The Art of Macquarie, something like that, Star Wars. And that stuff blew me away. I thought, man, this is so cool. Huh? But I was a kid, and I had no training. So everything that I've learned, really, I've learned it myself, except the 3D stuff. 3D stuff I went to school for. But, but when I was in school, they were teaching this program called Soft Dimash, SSI. And that, saw, and that program, the company went down under, which is really, really bad. So I had to relearn how to do 3D after I stopped doing 3D for 10 years. Not been 10 years, 13 years. And I had to uh, choose a program, so I chose um, ZBrush. So anyway, let me get back to Mc, Mc, uh, what's his name? The Star Wars Illustrator, Ralph McQuarrie. McQuarrie. He, what else? Uh, he also did Battlestar Galactica, which is amazing. And then there's this other guy who did um, Sid Mead. Yeah, Sid Mead is another one. He was a designer, and he did for for um, Blade Runner. Those those guys were really amazing. They're all right now. They're all they passed away. Recent recently, uh, Sid Mead passed away. But these guys were amazing. They used um, gouache and acrylic paint and airbrush. So they used all those kind of. Mediums of paint, whatever you want to call it. All right. So I got. Well, now I got to do is make sure that the the play is even. Even, Steven. Um. So it's good to have a clay machine, so it can extrude really nice sheets of clay. So you won't have this problem like I'm having right now. And that's my fault. I haven't bought that thing. I should have had that from a long time ago. Wait. Let's see, maybe. Maybe like that. And so what I'll do is just cut it around. Cut it around. Stick it around. Okay, so just cut the clay. Sort of like tracing. It should stick because of the bacon bond. It should stick really well. So, try to cut. Try to cut very close to the edge. So I like those illustrators, um, they were awesome. And honestly, like you can make a really nice drawing in like 30 minutes. And then you can probably pop it in Photoshop or like the iPad and, and paint it like in another two or three hours. And you can have like really nice looking painting. And, and with um, sculpting, it's like it takes forever, <laughs> you know? But since I since I love action figures, I mean, I'm I'm trying to learn how to make action figures. If that doesn't work out, I'll just stick to painting because um, I already started painting. I'm painting on weekends.
dedicating like uh, four or five hours on a weekend for painting. I already know how to paint in oil and acrylics. So, man, what is this? This is white stuff here. Um, so, I'm definitely gonna still do some painting on weekends on my Cintiq. So it's gonna be digital painting and digital sculpting, but I have a feeling that, I have a feeling that I'm gonna get uh, really good at sculpting action figures on ZBrush. It's a strong feeling, guys. Really strong feeling about that. Okay. All right, so let me try to peel this thing off. All right, so now now we have this, right? It looks a little a little too thick, to be honest, right there in the middle. But um, I can probably cut some, some of that stuff out with my blade. And just press it in. So it's really nice and it's stuck there. I'll try to just kind of like cut piece the excess off. Uh, so it's really thick in the middle. And that's because um, I don't have a pasta machine. They use this thing, a pasta machine, to get really nice, um, even sheets of clay. And you, you have settings, so you can set it really thin, really thick, whatever you want. Sorry. So, I got my Joker Mafex, which is freaking awesome. I know I said I was going to show it, but I haven't showed it. So honestly, after doing a lot of work, like right now I am, after I feel really tired, so I'm like, nah, I'll show it next time. And then I, I say the same thing, forget about it. I don't think I told you guys, I ordered the Bubble Effect from Hot Toys and Fire Strikes Back version, 40th year anniversary. I am so excited for that figure, man. You guys have no idea how long I've wanted that figure. Like, literally over two years. So I'm really excited. I'm so excited. And, um, let's see. Cutting off all the excess clay. Let's see. All right, so one of the reasons I make this show is because you guys are never going to guess. I mean, this is like, it's going to sound a little odd but i okay first of all uh i speak two languages and my preferred language is english because i was born here in the united states and um i grew up here and everything you know so i prefer to speak in english but i know how to speak spanish very very well now the reason why i know how to speak spanish so well it's because in the area I live, 
there's a lot, a lot of spam people, right? So what happens is, um, we need to understand, um, so when you're surrounded with um, Spanish people, they never speak English. So it's really frustrating for me because I don't get to, it's, it's like, you know, after school and all that, um, you hang out less, you know, and um, since I um, work at home, I don't get out that much, so I have to be talking in Spanish all the time. And it's really, really, really frustrating not to be able to just talk in Spanish. And, and during this this epidemic, um, it, it's more the quarantine, you know, it's really bad. So, yeah, I never, never get to speak in English. So that's one of the reasons why I'm making these live streams because I just want to practice my English because it's like uh, it's like everyone around me doesn't like to speak English and um, they never will, <laughs> you know, they never will speak English and it's really messed up because like I when I when I go to the stores around my neighborhood, even in the stores they don't speak English. Like this this is like the no English zone. So uh, now I'm exaggerating a little bit. Of course, you're going to go into a store and you're going to speak a, a little bit of English and all that, but mostly no one speaks English here. So it's, it's really hard because like I speak fluent Spanish, I read it, I speak it. But you know, enough's enough, man. Like I want to just be able to like chill out and go out and talk, man. I'm talking English, you know. And, like your friends from school, they get married, and you know they have kids, and they have or they move away and stuff. And so, um, you know, you're like I'm like here, and like man, it's really rough. Like it's just no one speaks English. It's like I live in America, but. It's so messed up. I don't get to speak any English now. Like, it's always in Spanish. And um, sometimes like I don't speak in English for a whole week because because um, all, all I get to speak to is Spanish people. And, and that's cool, you know, like I, I love the food. Some of the food is good. Some of the food is good, like some of it's unhealthy. Like the fried stuff, like, I, I, I stay away from that. And um, even when I have like relatives come over from South America, like I notice that they have no intention to talk to me in English. And then I have to speak to them in Spanish all the time. And it's kind of messed up because I'm expected to speak in English in Spanish all the time, but they're not expected to speak English at all. And they're here in the United States, it's messed up, man. And I never say anything about it, but that's not right, you know, like, if, hey, if I can communicate and know your culture and I can have a conversation and everything in Spanish, why can't you do the same, you know? Why can't you learn some English and talk, you know? The only person in my family that speaks some English is my nephew, so I talk to him a lot, and uh, that's the only person, that's it. And it's really, really frustrating, because I literally, sometimes, a whole week can go by, and I don't get to speak in English at all, like, at all. And, um, I'm going to move out of this place soon, I'm going to go to California, or maybe Texas. And um, one, that's one of the things that I'm really um, looking forward to moving out of this place. I live in a, I live in New York, uh, Jackson Heights, Queens. And uh, Jackson Heights, Queens is like a little South America. You know, it's all all Ecuadorians and Mexicans. And um, 
Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just rambling, man. Rambling, rambling. All right, so these guys. You have to manipulate the claim. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. I'm gonna do the the plastic trick again that I showed the first time. Here it is. And um, hopefully this time it's gonna look nice. I'll put on my goggles so I can see very tiny things. And I'm going to use this tool right here to make the, the markings. Oh, my, my glasses are sleeping. I hate when I have. Okay, so. That I do one circle there, and another one here. And start out with circles. Maybe I'll do a third one on there. So,
Well, I see people work with foam. Uh, and foam, and it's almost the same thing. It's almost exactly the same thing. You can use foam if you want. Actually, foam is a lot better sometimes to work with. The problem with foam is that it's so delicate. So when you finish it and paint it, you know that? It's so easy to for it to get damaged, it doesn't last long. The life expectancy of foam is really, really not good. So it's better to scope the things and um, have them, now that there's 3D printers, have them printed out in plastic and that will be, and keep that almost forever because um, you even need to make something super sculpty or some other, material it can break you know it can... all right so let's see man all right so that's what i have right now This side is already cooked. So now I'm going to go in and do some detail. Let's see. Here, just do some wood detail. Now I'm just trying to fix this. It's been really tough fixing this. So. Bear with me. Oh, also, I, man, this is crap music playing right now. I don't like, I like punk rock and rock and uh, some rap. Uh, I like some disco. I like classic rock, I like some, some um, Spanish music, but man, they play some really, really bad music around here, man. And uh, during the lockdown, I live in a place where there's a lot of, a lot of restaurants and uh, bars, and oh my God, man, it's been tortured. So there's a lockdown, um, they've been playing all these restaurants and have been playing like these put these speakers outside in the street. And Jesus Christ, man, it's just been horrible. Yeah. Horrible, 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 horrible music. Very bad music, very, very bad. So, just trying to detail you in there. It's a little thicker than I would like. But all right. So yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, I am a collector addict. I love action figures, toys. I think they're making an amazing Voltron right now. It might be an amazing Voltron. I don't forgot the name of the company. I think it's this way or three zero. I don't know. But they're making this like gigantic Voltron thing. It looks like it might be fourteen inches tall, maybe even bigger. And um, man, that thing looks so nice. It looks, I can't believe it looks a little better than the Bandai Voltron. So, yeah, pretty impressive. 
pretty, pretty impressive. Um, looking forward to seeing more details on that thing. This song is something so bad with coming out, but you know, he really can't do this. And um, another reason why I want to leave this new world is because it's a lot of violence here. Um, mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people fighting. When I'm trying to sleep, uh, there's a lot of noise, a lot of drums, sometimes shootouts, you know, people getting mugged, and uh, noise pollution, and, and murders, and stuff like that. So, really bad stuff, man. Uh, so, this place is not a really good place to live. All right, all right, so. All right, so I shouldn't talk about stuff like that anymore. So I'm just gonna talk about toys. And, um, toys and toys and sculpting and ZBrush. Oh, I just discovered a website that thanks to this guy who makes ZBrush uh, videos. And uh, he pointed me to this website called Discord. Discord. And um, there's a lot, of, a lot of ZBrush people there. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, be talking to some of Zebra users. Maybe I can make, uh, you know, ask them a question once in a while because, man, sometimes you get stuck on these computer programs and you have no one to ask for help. And it's pretty tough. It's pretty, 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 pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. Oh, cool. We can go over it with a slight touch and make the line more defined. For example, the other thing, when you touch it with your fingers, you lose some of the detail now. So. I'm kind of tracing all over my original line work here. I'm trying to make it stronger. So I gotta find that plastic because the plastic comes in too thick. So when I do the line, they don't come out of that. You know. Let's use the blade again. Chisel away some pieces that I don't want to do again. Okay. I just cut myself. 
You gotta be careful with these exacto knives, man. They are dangerous. They have like these little tiny fridges they seem to for 30 or 20 bucks. I can have it here if next to me. I can put this in there while I'm talking and make it really hard and then take it out and smoke on it. What else can we do? It really sucks to have to go to the fridge all the way to the kitchen. Here's one of my favorite tools. And, um, man, where is everybody? This is like the second stream I've done. No one showed up. What the hell? Is it? Let's try this one. This is my favorite tool. So, uh, I want Mifex to make, since they're making um, um, Superman figures, and they actually, they're making one from the story that I like when Superman dies and all these other Superman come to replace him, like, like Steel. And then there's a Superboy, and uh, then there's a, a, uh, Robot Superman, like a Terminator. I forgot his name. What's his name? And so, if they made that guy from um, that storyline, man, I would fucking freak out if they make Steel, because that would be such a beautiful figure. If make guys can make that be. So maybe that please make those Superman. And yeah, please make a doomsday from the comic book. And Superman when he dies, except Superman. Make a doomsday. The one that's like in the green outfit with the goggles, it's a Comic Con exclusive. Those those um would be amazing. They could if they can do that. That would be amazing. Amazing. So, I'm almost done here. I'm gonna have to put some super bomb here to make the closure. All right, so. Pretty tough to do this sometimes. All right, so I need a blade. Maybe this one. Let's see. There it is. You can do some scrapes like that, like some random scrapes to weather the, the wood. You could play put like Wolverine and Twine at it, type of feel. I do some cracks here. The more detail you put, the better. 
That's what I think. So don't be afraid. More detailed about now I'm looking forward to painting this. That's why I say, man, maybe I just was meant to be a painter because I get really excited also. I mean, I love action videos. I get really excited too when I want to paint something. But the thing is, like, I'm a better sculptor. And a lot of people tell me that. I'm better at sculpting than I find. It doesn't matter, right? Really. I had a teacher like that. He was really good at, um, he was the opposite. He was really good at drawing, but he loved sculpting, so he chose sculpting, even though he was better at um, drawing. He was, a, he was a really good teacher. A long time ago. When I was a Queen's boy. Make it make it really easy. Um, make it. Looks pretty good for right now, I think. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. I don't know why my autofocus doesn't work, man. Oh, there you go. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. All right, guys. So I'm going to cook this and uh, paint it and then show you when it's painted. Like I painted the... 
these guys right here. And um, I'm out of here. So I'll see you guys later.